Hello everyone, this is All Algorithms Equal with a new production. And this time we'll, we'll be studying, well this is a lesson on continued fraction expansions, part 4. Now this can become, just a, a, a warning to start, this can become somewhat uh, difficult to actually say and write uh, these more general continued fraction uh, structures because we have so many nested fractions, of course. So uh, I'm going to just do my best to make this uh, lesson as clear as possible. So uh, I'll, I'll get to the PowerPoint in a moment, and uh, I'd just like you to consider a few questions. Uh, specifically, do you believe the following statements? And so there's going to be a, uh, a presentation of them. That I'll start in just a brief moment. So continued fraction expansions, part four. Let's, let's uh, go ahead. So, do you believe the following assertions? For instance, pi is irrational. Now, this is a very... I would say this is a relatively widely known idea, pi being irrational. You know, most people have been, have been told this at, at some point in their lives, and surely it can't be a falsehood, right? Well, let's, let's find out. And here's another assertion, pi squared is irrational. Now, for those of you who've been uh, paying very close attention to my, my series on taking sums of squares, you may recall this fact, this uh, notion that I had presented very briefly. And here's another interesting kind of result that we can get, which is that the log of 2, meaning the natural logarithm of 2, is equal to, or in other words, is the, the number to which this continued fraction expansion converges. And I have 1 over 1 plus the quantity, 1 squared over 1 plus 2 squared over, 1 plus 3 squared over, 1 plus 4 squared over, etc., 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 going on indefinitely. So this is another formula that, that actually an extremely interesting formula, especially if this is your first time seeing it. This, this might be very surprising, but, you know, do you believe it? And here's another, uh, a different kind of interesting formula, where we have 4 over pi, so we have this kind of formula for the reciprocal of pi over 4, obviously, being the number to which this other continued fraction converges. It's 1 plus 1 squared over 2 plus 3 squared over 2 plus 5 squared over 2 plus 7 squared over 2 plus 9 squared over, etc., etc., going on I I infinitely. So, do you believe this formula, for instance? And here we have another uh, kind of a final formula, a very interesting one involving e. So we have a, uh, finally, we have a continued fraction expansion uh, different from the one I presented in, I think, I think it was part two of this series, uh, and the result converges to, to e. So it's quite interesting. We have 2 plus 2 over, 2 plus 3 over, 3 plus 4 over, 4 plus 5 over, 5 plus 6 over 6. So we get this kind of, perhaps I'm not reading that very clearly, but you know that's why I say this can get somewhat ambiguous, especially as we get with uh, as we get more complicated, more um, general continued fraction structures. But obviously, you can you can see it on screen. That's what matters the most. And we have these uh, these numerators and denominators that kind of match each other, so to speak. So it's two plus two over, or rather two over two plus something, and then three over three plus something, and four over four plus something. And we keep doing that for all the natural numbers. That's the, the pattern that emerges. So do you believe this formula, for instance? Well, so th those are all the, the, the major results that I hope to prove for you. Um, and I'll be basing it off a chapter from a textbook that I'll be able to put on screen as well. So what we'll, we'll cover in, in this part, and p perhaps this might uh, go on into part five, perhaps, but we'll cover a continued fraction for log of two, uh, and other irrational numbers, like e and pi. And ultimately, uh, maybe in parts 5 and 6, we'll probably go over the proof for the irrational irrationality of pi, as done by Lambert, famously in the 18th century.